guys how are you now i'm teacher ali malara i'm going to teach you on on okay i'm going to teach you on multiplication okay specifically on the partitioning grid and expanded written method okay multiplication on partitioning method grid method and expanded written method okay all right okay now this is partitioning method can you see here partitioning method okay now this is the question 45 times 3 okay 45 times 3 now don't look at the answers first okay we look uh, we look at the method and then we will check whether our answers are same or not okay okay the question is 45 this one 45 times 3 now in partitioning method what are you going to do here is okay you have to split 45 which means split means you make it separate okay you will take you will make it separate means 40 and 5 40 and 5 if you plus together it makes 45 correct okay so we are splitting we will put 40 here here we will put 5 here okay so 45 when we split 40 and also 5 now look here if you, if you see here 45 times 3 correct so from 45 you take 40 and 5 separately right so put here 40 you times with 3 can you see the times 3 here so you put here times 3 open a bracket can you see a bracket here okay and then you put plus you put another bracket from 45 you already put 40 here okay so what is the balance 5 just now as you said 40 plus 5 it makes 45 so 40 plus 5 you already put 40 here and you left with 5 right so put plus here you put 5 here 5 you times this one times 3 so you will times 3 at both numbers here 40 here 5 okay here times 3 here also times 3 now 40 times 3 i know 40 is a double digit number correct but guys it's an easy way okay that is the reason we are partitioning we are not going to do other methods to find this answer okay 40 times 3 you have zero here close the zero here just close what do you have here four times three what is four times three twelve right here twelve first just right here twelve and then just now you closed how many zero only one zero right zero at the back okay can you see here four times three is twelve just now you close one zero so you write the one zero here so it will make 120 can so 40 times 3 equals to 120 done so you copy the plus here done now what is 5 times 3 15 5 times 3 is 15 done so 120 you plus with 15 plus the ones first here the ones is 5 here the ones is 0 0 plus 5 5 can you see here okay tens to tens is 2 here tens is 1 here 2 plus 1 3 so that's why you have 3 here you have 1 here as hundreds but you don't have hundreds here so imagine it's a 0 so 1 you plus with a 0 1 so the answer is 135 do you understand okay that's good you understand guys now grid method okay we are going we are actually doing the same questions you know we, we are doing the same questions but by using different method okay now grid method can you see here okay now 45 times 3 equals to don't look at the answers first now grid method means you will do 
two boxes only two small boxes okay I actually I, I i put color at the background to make it interesting but when you do in your book you no need to color it eh? just draw two boxes enough okay like one box and then another box here okay so what you're gonna do is you're going to partitioning partition also can you see the 45 here okay split it 40 and 5 so you write 40 here you write 5 here always remember 40 plus 5 is 45 correct so you have to partition it when you partition it you will write 40 here you will write 5 here done so you put times here okay times what times 3 so you put 3 here can okay? same thing 40 times 3 40 times 3 close to 0 guys what is 4 times 3 4 times 3 is 12 so how many zeros you close here one so you just put one zero so it will make 120 done okay now look here five times three 15 so you need to plus 120 and 15 same same thing i told you just now plus the ones zero plus five is five plus the tens 2 plus 1 is 3 and you have 1 as the hundreds but you, but you don't have hundreds here so just copy the 1 or imagine as 0 so 1 plus 0 is 1 so the answer is 135 135 can you see here okay now we go to expanded written method okay expanded written method guys this method is very similar to formal method but it looks similar but there are differences here i will teach you the differences okay expanded written method now what is the meaning of h t and o okay start from here o means once these are the ones okay t means tens these are the tens H means hundreds. So, do you have hundreds here? No. Do you have hundreds here? No. Do you have hundreds here? Yes. Do you have hundreds here? Yes. Okay. Now, the question is, same question, 45 times 3. Okay. Now, look here. Okay. Very simple, guys. Very simple. Settle the ones first. Okay. This is one, right? This is the question. Okay. What is 5 times 3 okay so on this row you will write only the answer for 5 times 3 5 times 3 is 15 correct so just write 15 like this just write 15 okay always remember if in 15 5 is the ones 1 is the tens correct so just write 15 so this is the clue for you i did written here 5 times 3 which means this row is 5 times 3 once you settle with the ones, go to tens. This one. What is 4 times 3? 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. Always remember guys. 4 times 3 is 12. Am I right? Okay. 4 is at tens place. Okay. You are taking 4 and you times it 3. 4 is at tens place. So, write your answer starting from the tens place. 4 times 3 is 12. So, your last number 12 is the ones correct you have to write here do not write here okay do not write here you take four your time you're multiplying with three four is at tens place so your answer should be below directly directly below four so you will write 12 like this okay this one is empty place okay can so you put a line here 5 just copy 5 1 plus 2 is 3 1 you just copy like that in your book okay in your book of course you'll see here here they will put here 40 times 3 the reason i didn't put 40 times 3 some of you might get confused that is why i have already mentioned to you guys here the 4 is at tens place okay that is why they have 40 40 is a tens place 
They split here also. From 45, they split. You already put a 5 here. 5 times 3 is 15. From 45, when you already solved 5, the balance is 40, correct? So that is why they put 40 here. So in your textbook, they will have a 0 here and they will have a 0 here also. Okay? No need to worry about it. You can follow that method also. This one, this method, I made it easy for you guys to understand it better. Okay? So 4 times 3, 4 is a tens place. So that is why your answer should be start from below 4. Okay? So that's why you put 12 here. Do not write here. Okay? Can? All right. Next, expanded return, return method also. Okay, now this question is very easy. How if uh, how if there's a question asking you to take two times with four and times with eight? So how you go? How you gonna find the answer? Very easy. Okay, just take two times four first. What is two times four? Eight. So you will write the answer here. Two times four is eight. Write the answer here. Settle. Now take four times with eight. 2 times 4, done, 8. Now 4 times 8 is 32. You write here. Now take 8, you times with 32. So in order to solve this, use expanded return method to find the answer. So 32, you times with 8, you will get 256. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Now, uh, um, Please replay this video if you don't don't understand it um, clearly. Okay, I've already explained clearly clearly on the specific methods. Hope you enjoy this video. Bye bye.